Coming up in a few minutes, we're going to uh, speak with Congressman Richard Hanna, who did make the announcement on Sunday and officially on Monday that he is going to retire. He is not going to continue forward and run for uh, another term, a fourth term, in the uh, in his congressional seat, which has created an incredible uh, political firestorm of candidates announcing their own exploratory committees, saying, yeah, I'm considering. I think I'm going to get in. We have a, a, a group of names from Tenney, who's already in, Griffel, Brindisi, Pacenti, Ray Meyer, um, Catherine Bertini in Cortland, who we don't know a lot about, but she has some money. She's worked at the United Nations, also is part of the family that uh, runs and owns uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. So there's some money there. Uh, Mike Backus in Oswego, who was a former GOP chair there. Uh, very interesting. And Dave Gordon uh, has just kind of been forgotten about, and he's on the line right now. Dave, good morning. Uh, good morning. I, we, I guess we have just kind of discarded you here and just said, well, that's not going to happen. But you're saying, well, don't don't forget me, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, uh, we're going to make a decision next week, uh, you know, about uh, what we're going to do in this race. Um, but I certainly wanted to weigh in uh, on some of the potential candidates uh, who are who have formed these exploratory type committees. OK. All right. Do you know anything about uh, Catherine Bertini or Mike Backus? Uh, I actually don't know anything about them. I haven't heard anything uh negative about them. Uh, I just don't know enough about them to even formulate an right. opinion, but I'm sure as we get a little bit closer, we'll be able to do that. All right, I did this with uh, with Assemblywoman Tenney the other day, and I throw out the name, and you tell me your thoughts on the candidate, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, Senator Joe Griffo. Uh, well, before we talk about Joe Griffo, okay. I just wanted to mention something that's been bothering me a little bit. Uh, you know, I- I've heard it a lot lately about a lot of uh, politicians, you know, downstate, things like that who are, you know, openly support things like gay marriage, uh, but are gay themselves and uh, don't come out of the closet, so to speak, and um, really support gay marriage. And I think that that's something that they all have an obligation to do if they're truly going to support it. Why live these, you know, these uh, staged marriages and, and, and try to, uh, you know, show the voters that they're somebody that they're not? Okay, well, let's talk about Joe Griffin. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I'm not sure where you're going with that. Well, I'm, I'm just pointing out the fact that it's just been something that's been bothering me lately. Well, explain specifics to that. I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, it, again, there's, there's, it's something that I see a lot of people tweet about, a lot of people on face, Facebook mention over the years about politicians who have been, uh, you know, maybe elected to state, uh, state representatives who are, uh, openly support gay marriage, who are gay themselves, but again, they do not uh, do their due diligence by coming out and you know telling the general public that they support it because they themselves are gay. So I think it's just something that... Uh, who are you talking you know, about specifically that you've, you've heard about? Uh, nobody in specific. In fact, I, I wouldn't even want to venture to guess, but it's just something that... Uh, so, you, so you're uh, getting tweets? You're, you're, so, so you're getting tweets. Let me, let me get this You're getting straight. unsubstantiated you're, tweets. Well, no, 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 it's even better than that. You're getting tweets that say some politicians are gay um, and they support or don't support gay marriage. Which is it? Support. Uh, they, they support it, but they themselves, uh, you know, they, they don't come out. But and, they don't come out. But, and they specifically... Uh, you know, have these arranged marriages and things like that. Okay. I, that I don't think that that's the right impression to set for the general public. Yeah. But Nora, anyways, I digress on that. It was just no, 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 no. I, I think that's I think that's amazing what you what you said, and that's it's, it. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's continue. But, but you have no no you have no particular names in your mind when you say this. No. Nope. Well, then why would you say it? I mean, why would I, it? Why would why would it get you going? It, it, yeah. Why would it get you going if you, there's no like if there, somebody were throwing it, names it's been out there? Something that's just been out there so much lately. It like has. I, I, I haven't I just, seen it. I haven't I seen just, it. Uh, I, and I'm out we, there. We're in, we're in different circles, but I digress. I, I'd rather we are in different circles. Grateful. And by the way, when you say we're working on uh, on making a decision, who's we? Uh, family members, friends, uh, people that uh, that that I talk to on a daily basis, people who have been supporters of. Uh, my candidacy in the past, uh, financial supporters, uh, people who support me financially from yeah. a election standpoint. So, uh, and, 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 and let me ask you a question. Know. And let me ask you a question. How would you back on the gay issue? How would you know that these people have an arranged an arranged marriage? How would how would you know unless you've been involved with them in some sort of a homosexual relationship? 
How would you how would you know, Dave, that one well, of these people I, I has I will openly say that I am not uh, gay. I have a, uh, a girlfriend who we've been together for But that doesn't matter. Years. I mean, you could be living but a sham life right now, Dave. We, I mean, we are, a, are you we are, a, Dave, we Dave, Dave, so it, Dave, a, uh, Dave, are you gay and you are no. you living a, a are you living no, a lie? Not at all. Are not you sure? All. I just don't not understand why this is an issue. In, in it your shouldn't be an bed. issue. It isn't an issue if they choose. Let's say it's true. But if they chose to do such a thing, isn't it their business? Um, I think that if they're, if it depends on what they're doing, I, you know. I'm going to ask you another question. I'm going to ask you another question. The best way for them to support gay marriage is to they themselves, you know, articulate the fact that they are gay. Okay. But you, you don't know. Do you support gay marriage, Dave? I do support gay marriage. Okay. Yeah. And you feel that there are candidates out there that are living a lie. They support it, but they won't come out and say that they're gay and they're living in a sham marriage. Uh, well, I would, I would say, I wouldn't call it a sham marriage. I yeah. think that it's just, uh, it's a little bit. There's more than you know that they're that they're alluding to, and it's definitely arranged type marriages. Okay. That's all. Anyone here locally, you tried to imply this on? No, I'm just like it. I'm speaking in generality. Yeah, it sounds like it to me. All right, let's go back in my list because the first name I put up there was Joe Griffo. Comments on Joe Griffo? So, um, you know, Joe. One of the issues I have with Joe is I honestly don't know if Joe's ever had a job in the private sector. Uh, he's, you know, continued to uh, get elected. I think he's never really had any true opposition. If you go back to his race for state Senate, he would have been beaten by uh, a good friend of mine, John Murad, had Leon Kozil not been uh, on the Working Families Party for that race. So, you All know, right. I, I just think he's kind did of... You, do, do you remember he had another challenge with uh, Tim Gillian? You didn't think that was a fair challenge? Um, you know, again, that was a primary, so primaries can go any other any way. They, okay. You know, Lightning round here. I don't want to waste too much time on it, Dave. Brindisi, Anthony Brindisi. Brindisi, uh, he's a good guy. Uh, we disagree a little bit on politics. I think that he's, you know, he's been hanging out with the Republicans so much that he even adopted the same haircut as Anthony Pacenti. So I, I just, you know, I got to disagree with him a little bit on his, his, um, who wrote this for you? Cause you didn't write this crap. This is, you're, you're going on talking points. Somebody put you up to this. Pacenti. No, the, and uh, David, please. Lightning round. Pacenti, what are your thoughts? I just think that, uh, you know, if you're going to be a Democrat, you should associate, you know, just as much, if not more, with Democrats than just solely with Republicans. But, Ray Dave, Meyer. you came on here last time singing the praises of Claudia Tenney. I'm not done yet, Christine. Ray She's... Meyer. Um, Ray Meyer's kind of old news. Um, you know, the only thing that I thought that was interesting was when he was county executive, he wanted to put his own elevator in to get to the 10th floor so that he didn't have to socialize with people in the county office building. So I, I just don't know if somebody who doesn't want to socialize with the general public is a good fit to go and be an advocate in are Washington. You, are you trying to burn every bridge this uh, morning? He's not Dave? done yet. C Claudia Tenney, your thoughts on Assemblywoman Tenney? Um, well, like, like Claudia said, I mean, we have a good relationship. We don't. There's no animosity between the two of us. Um, you know, I think that she's going to... She'll most likely win. You are. I, I'm going to tell you something. You are so superficial; it makes me sick to my stomach. But I, it, I, it is unbelievable those three the digs that you've thrown out here today, uh, Dave. She's gonna have, Dave, she's going to have a hard time in the general election if she only. Yeah, Dave. Uh, it's and, unbelievable how superficial you are, and how obvious this is to everyone that someone put you up to that gay line. And wrote every little item. They knew that I was going to go after each and every item here, each and every candidate. And they put you up to that line. It is disgraceful that you did that. No, see here. It is disgraceful. And you did that targeting someone here locally. Dave Gordon, you are a disgrace. These are the true facts. What a joke. These are the Dave, let me ask you a question. What do you think about the government shutdown? Would you have shut the government down this year? I think we've already gone over that. And I said, no, I'd never shut the government down. I think what was the government shutdown about, Dave? It's a political gridlock in Washington. It's the Republicans not having the executive powers to do specifically. What was it? What was it about, Dave? Down government. What What's was that? it about, Dave? What was the government shutdown this year about? Over well, one can, political you issue. Can spec, you can speculate any any. No, 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 no. Specifically, about. specifically, there were arguments. What was it about? Again, I, I my, my do you know what the shutdown was about, totally... Dave? Do you have any idea what this shutdown, the Republican shutdown? Do you know what it was about? 
I, I don't know why you're yelling. Right I'm now. asking you a question. I Dave. mean, you got five listeners right now listening. Ask the question, Dave. That doesn't make it, any sense. Oh, that's a good one. We know that's true, right? <laughs> yeah. Answer the question. Why is the yeah. why were the Republicans threatening a shutdown here in December? Why? Because they're in Washington again. There's a lot of political. Gridlock. You can't answer that question. Don't. And you want to run for Congress? Are you kidding me? Your only opportunity. You can't Don't. answer that question. Answer it. That is the answer. That's my answer. That's your. It had nothing to do. It had nothing. It, it, it is political gridlock in Washington. It's business okay. as usual. Just well, like political corruption. Let me help you a little bit. What do you think about Planned Parenthood funding Planned Parenthood there? Well, I, I continue to be a firm believer that Planned Parenthood provides necessary services uh, to its members and continue, should continue being a viable option as long as they stay on the straight and narrow and, and do the right things there. Yeah, I thought I'd help you. Okay, Dave, thanks for the call. Very interesting. Your your colors are true, and they're shining bright. Appreciate we, it, Bill. We, you as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, thanks. You want to add something? You want to add a dig? You got something written down there somebody wrote for you? Are you kidding me? Did I just waste 10 minutes on that? What a joke. What a joke. What a joke. And I'm going to tell you something. Somebody set him up to that. You figure out who. 